Hey everyone, I wanted to review with you a bunch of little components I've collected over the past few days and some I've had in stock for a potential remote for Nova coming soon. So um, yeah, really quick, just basic momentary on off switches. These look pretty sturdy. I think I'm really gonna like these. Probably will we'll end up using them. Oh, and yes, uh, I did a little DIY, it's actually, I didn't design it, it's a print from somebody else for a DIY oscillos oscilloscope, and I really like the way they did these buttons. So PLA is somewhat flexible, and if you can hear that, there's a button just under this little piece of PLA that's flexible. So I may do something like that on our remote, because I actually grabbed this like this and was like, hey wow, look at that, it works pretty nice. So I think that regardless of what button I use, I will end up probably doing that. So you won't see them and you'll have more of a, f of a finger pad than just these little tiny buttons. So probably in the, in the design of the PLA, I'll do something like that with the buttons. Therefore, it was probably kind of pointless to get colored ones, but these I may use for something different, may not use them at all. Then there's just a couple of toggle switches, a couple of uh, double pull, double throw switches in case we need them. Um, I'm really considering using some slide potentiometers for things like speed or maybe her stride and things like that. Uh, joysticks, yes. These cheapos that you get, these modules, I highly unlikely I'll use them. I know they're only a couple bucks, but I don't think they're all that great. Adafruit makes one, which seems way more sturdier to me and a bit more high quality. I think... The, the pair of them, I think, was maybe eight bucks. And of course, you get to solder it up yourself, which could have its advantages in case we have to make any kind of modifications. So I will most likely use those. I most likely will not use these cheapos. Um, what else? I got an native fruit lipo charger, which I probably would like to use because nothing worse than having to swap batteries in and out. Displays will come back to in one second, and then these I had on hand already. I, I haven't really used them. They're NRF uh, 24 wireless So we would have to put one of these in Nova and on the remote But we're gonna have to do that with whatever communication protocol we decide to use But I like I've said in previous videos. I really don't want to go anywhere near Bluetooth So I'm going to start off with these guys and hopefully they'll work nicely and we'll be good to go with there Okay, now displays. So, um, I'm not going to piss everybody off by using this. I've actually had this in my drawer for since the beginning of my hobby. I think it's actually a touch screen. It came with a stylus and everything. I think I just wanted to show it off and tease you guys. Wouldn't it be cool if we did a room remote with that? But we won't. Um, I picked up a couple of these just because I was so enthralled by the shape. thought it might be fun for something. So, possibility, but... Probably not. It's SBI, and I'm not crazy about SBI displays. Um, this is the same OLED that we originally were using in Nova. Um, so we may actually go with that, since it's just a simple four pin, <coughs> but it's only two color. Then there's these, these little guys, which it may actually even make sense to use a combination of two, where this could be more of a display for whatever we need to show any kind of graphical stuff, and then this could just maybe give us constant readout of either battery voltage or, or maybe just coordinates or movement mode you're in or something to that effect, or maybe forego that one and use two of these guys instead. We'll see. And then I have another... Um, one that I most likely won't use that's also been sitting in my drawer for a while. What's cool about these is they do have SD cards on them, but they also take, yeah, one too many pins for my liking. So we probably won't go with either one of those. And also, I, I am thinking of DIY and trying to keep costs down and all that for you guys as well. I'm not just going to pluck stuff up that I've had laying around, because these probably go, for, I, would, I would guess, $20, $25 probably. That's a bit much just for the display. All right, so yeah, those are the components that I have so far to work with. Uh, I will probably obviously just breadboard something just to get the controls and figure out how many buttons we need, how many potentiometers, etc., and get it all wired up and working on a breadboard. Then we can really play with it. And then we'll worry about designing a case for it all later. So yeah, guys, not sure when I'll start this, but having all this equipment in front of me is definitely going to encourage me to do it. But as you've heard me say many times now, I really want to get some coding done first. 
All right, so yeah, thanks for watching. Give me any of your feedback, ideas, suggestions. If you have any experience with these NRF guys, maybe you can give me feedback on that or the joysticks. Or if you have other suggestions, yes, please share with me and the community. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching, as always.